Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to take a look at the iOS 9 Beta 4 running on the iPhone 6 and the iPad Air 2. Now, as you know, the finalized iOS 9 will be available to public this fall, probably in September when the iPhone 6s and the iPad Air 3 get announced. iOS 9 does have a lot of new features, and I encourage you to go and check my entire iOS 9 playlist to get a complete picture of the iOS 9 evolution so far. There are tons of new features such as split screen multitasking on the iPad Air 2, significant enhancements to the Siri voice assistant that will give it more context awareness, public transportation data for Apple Maps, a brand new notes application with brand new features. So if you want to see those changes in detail, watch the video titled Top 10 New Features in iOS 9 linked below and also the full iOS 9 coverage playlist. In this video, however, we will see the new additions and enhancements that are specific to the iOS 9 Beta 4. Now, firstly, I want to let you know that this release has definitely increased system stability and fluidity. iOS 9 at this point runs like a champ on the Beta 4. Anyway, let's dive into all the new features. Now, as you may or may not know, in the iPhone, in the camera application, you can use the volume up or down buttons to quickly snap a photo for the sake of making it easy. So this feature was actually disabled in iOS Beta 3, but in iOS 9 Beta 4, it is re-enabled, and as you can see, it works like a champion. Another feature missing from iOS Beta so far was the home sharing option. But if you go back into the music settings, under the settings, you'll see at the bottom that the home sharing has been enabled. And the same is the case for the iPhone. So if you, in the iPhone, if you go into the settings, and if you scroll all the way down to where the, the music settings are, you'll see that at the bottom, you will still have home sharing option now available. For number three, there's a visual change that comes in relation to the handoff feature. Now, handoff allows you to start a compatible app on one device and seamlessly hand it off to another device so you can continue working wherever you please. So as you can see, we have Safari running on the iPhone. If I double tap on the home screen on the iPad, at the bottom, it's going to say Safari is running on the iSaki device. And if I tap that icon, it's going to pull the website that I was looking at on my iPhone right on my iPad. So this is called a handoff. And the way you can access this visually has changed in the multitasking pane. Number four, on the Apple iPhone, Apple Play can now be activated by double tapping the home screen. You have that option where you can turn that on or off. So if your iPhone 6 is locked and you want to quickly access Apple Pay, all you do is double tap the home button and that's going to activate Apple Pay as long as it is enabled under settings as you can see on the screen. And one more minor visual change is that the notifications icon under the settings menu is now red, which kind of makes sense. This is the case both on the iPad Air and the iPhone. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, if I'm missing anything, just let me know in the comments below. And if you want to, like I said, watch everything else that has happened since iOS 9 was released, check the links in the description below for full coverage to see how the news application works to see the brand new music application and a host of other changes that they have added so far. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you the next time.